be making bases. What's good, YouTube? Be making bases back again with another dope video. If you're new to the channel, please subscribe and hit the bell notifications so you know when we're gonna post. Today's video, I wanted to give you a few tips if you are a beginner when it comes to mixing your beats in Logic Pro 10. So let's jump in, all right? Now the first tip I wanna give you if you're new to mixing is to bounce down all your tracks as audio files, okay? Preferably WAV files, all right? So this is a session I already bounced down and then I imported the tracks back into Logic Pro 10. Um, if you're new to Logic Pro 10, you don't know how to do it, I basically push Command A, highlight everything. You're gonna come over here to File, and you just go to Export, and you're gonna wanna do All Tracks as Audio Files, all right? And once you do that, you wanna make sure that it says 24-bit and Overload Protection on, and then you can you know, do different things here as far as naming the tracks and everything like that but put it in a folder and then bounce it down so i'm not going to rebounce it down since i already have them here the next thing you want to do is focus on getting the levels of the drums right so what i would do is of course first off organize your tracks okay so you see how i have the drums up here i have kick 808 snare hi-hats you know all the little drum sounds right here and then i have all of the you know melody sounds at the bottom this makes it a whole lot easier to see everything um so you want to make sure you do that but then what you want to do is start working on the drum so what i would do is i would mute out all of the um melody and just focus on the drums first so you're going to start off with the kick make sure the kick is punch punching through there really solid just work on levels first so i'm going to go ahead and turn this down some and just go ahead and start working on that All right, let's do that. Then you want to go ahead and work on the 808. Blend that in. I usually recommend turning that 808 down, maybe like halfway. So wherever your um, kick volume is, maybe just turn the 808 down like half of that. So let's check it out. Then you can turn your hi-hats maybe about mm, a fourth of the way down. Let's see. All right, bet. So now that you have like the overall like volume of the uh, and the leveling of the track done for the drums, the next thing I would do is bring in the main melody sound first. Okay, whatever the main part of your beat is, as far as the melody, bring that in, and I would make sure that it's lower than the actual drums. Okay, but make sure you still hear it. So let's bring that in. Cool. Then you can start bringing in the other sounds as well. Make sure that they're still around that level, the same levels you have the uh, main melody sound, and just kind of tuck them in the mix a little bit. So, like for instance, this guy right here, we would just tuck it right under that other sound. After you do that, the next step I would say is to make sure you EQ. And I would use a technique called subtractive EQing. Now what subtractive EQing is gonna do is basically take out certain uh, frequencies that are clashing with other frequencies um, or other instruments that have the lower, like, so let me just kind of break it down. So for instance, like this 808 sound, obviously, um, let's just look at the frequency and where it's, where it's coming in. So the majority of that frequency is coming in from like 30 dB to like around 200 dB. And so what I would recommend doing is where you have the melody tracks, 
taking out those those uh, frequencies. So basically, what you want to do is do a filter, um, cutting out the lows up to like 200 dB. So check this out. I would just come over here to the main melody and take this guy here and just pull out those lows. Now listen to it. Okay, those are some definite things you want to do on the mix. Again, just, just think of the whole aspect of making room for other tracks, other frequencies here. Um, after you do that, you want to do something called panning. All right, so you want to just give it like a, you know, a stereo sound. So I would recommend this. Don't go too crazy, but you could just put the, the hi hats to the left or the right. Maybe put some of these. Uh, open hi-hats and the percussions to the left or right and you can even mess around a little bit with the melody and just nudge it over to the left or right some you feel me and I listen listen to it The next step is to make sure that the mixes sounds great at different parts of the song. OK, um, so like I would instead of just being on the hook, I would come over here to different parts of the verse and make sure that all the instrument sounds are coming in and sounding right. All right. Next thing you could do is you could use some plugins, right, to make the mix pop out a little bit more. So, for instance, say if a snare is not um, hitting as hard as you want it to, you can add like a uh, compressor to that snare or a compressor to that kick to make it punch out more in the mix. So let's just show you what I'm talking about here. And it really doesn't too much need it, but I'll still do it on this beat. Okay, cool. After you add this, like the compressor on here, you just want to adjust it a little bit. You know, sometimes it might be coming in too hot, so you can adjust it that way. Um, we can do that on the on the snare or the kick drum too. But most of the time, if you choose the right instruments, you don't even need or in drum sounds, you don't even need to add these compressors and things like that. The other tip that I would do is say that you shouldn't add a whole lot of um, plugins to your mix. OK, you know, picking the right instrument sounds is going to be the main part of the mix and make sure the levels are right and make sure the EQ um, you're doing the right subtractive EQ. Another tip you could do here is come to the stereo out and just turn it down to around like, you know, negative 4.6. And what that's going to do is help leave some headroom in the mix so that's not blaring too crazy in the actual, uh, um, you know, signal right here. So let's listen to it now. As you can see, it gives some headroom. OK. Now, after you do all of that and make sure everything is balanced out, okay, you want to again go to all the different parts of the song, make sure everything is coming in at the right, you know, levels. Again, make sure all the EQing is done right. 
And you can even come over here, uh, and this is kind of jumping around, but you can even come over here and make sure you EQ all the inch, like, um, this is a little tip on the EQing. I usually don't do a whole lot of EQing on the kick, the 808, or the, um, the kick or the 808. I usually leave those pretty much alone, and then I just, you know, I'll do some some, some, some subtractive EQing on, like, the, um, the percussion instruments, like snare, hi-hats, and the melody, just so that that kick in the 808 is coming out in the mix here but after you do that I mean it's I would also recommend this as another tip for beginner um, beginners who are mixing is to go ahead and play your beats very low on the speakers so don't don't blare your your your, your speakers up to the max when you're trying to mix it turn it down so you can honestly kind of barely hear it and then that way it's going to really tell you what's going on in the mix you'll be able to instantly tell if like a hi-hat is way too loud or if like you know uh, a horn sound or a melody is too loud or too soft in the mix you feel what i'm saying and you also can tell like if the kick drum is kicking the way it needs to so um let's just kind of listen to some of this mix and then you'll see what I'm, i did and literally you just saw me didn't take too long to really get it going um Obviously, yeah, you want to take more time to, to, to mix it, but sometimes after you kind of get the actual gist of it, you don't have to do as much on it. So let's listen to it for a little bit. Another tip is you don't want to make the, the kick and the snare and stuff like that hitting too hard. Um, you know, you want everything to be balanced. And that's really the whole aspect of mixing is make every, and making everything balanced. Pretty much that's the video for the day. I appreciate y'all. If you have any other questions, be sure to go ahead and leave those in the comments below. And I'll see you in the next video. Peace.